everyone, this is Andrew from Dividend Growth Masters, and today I want to walk you guys through what's called a Form 4. So a Form 4 is a form that companies have to file with the SEC. So you can pull all this information from the SEC website, scc.gov, from the Edgar database. So Form 4s are required to be filed with the SEC when there's a change in an executive's um, ownership of shares, whether they're buying shares or selling shares. So it's really important that you be able to pull this information to be able to tell what insiders are doing with their own money with the company's shares. So I'm going to walk you through on how to pull these filings and how to read them on a very high level. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to search for the ticker symbol of the company you're looking at. So in this case, we're going to be looking at Microsoft. So these, this is all the Edgar information that they file with the SEC. But instead of the main tab, what we want to do is we want to look uh, for the insider transactions for this issuer. So this is all the Form 4s that the company has filed with the SEC for all of the insiders. So every insider, every executive, including the board of directors of the company, must file Form 4s within two business days after they buy or sell shares. So you can see there's a lot of executives here on this list. And they go back several years, you know, all the way back to 2000, 2007 here, 2006, 2000, 2003. So let's pull up the form four and we'll go over some of the basic information included in the filing. So once you find the form four, all you need to do is click right here and it'll open in, an, in a tab. So this is what a form four looks like. Pretty standard government, you know, government looking form. So the first thing you'll notice is the item number one, which is the name of the officer. You also want to pay attention to item number five, which is the person's relationship with the com company. In, in other words, what their job is. So it looks like he, um, Brad Smith, Bradford Smith, is a president at Microsoft. So the next thing you want to pay attention to is the transaction code down here. So there are really two transaction codes you want to pay attention to, S transaction codes and P transaction codes. So S transaction codes mean the, comp the officer sold shares, but if this was a P transaction code, it would mean that the officer purchased shares. So it looks like this officer sold 192,300 shares on April 30th, 2019 at $133.34 per share. So that's a lot of shares if you do the math. Um, something else that's also important in the Form 4 filing is item 5 down here, which shows the amount of shares after the transaction. So this officer, Brad Smith, after he sold 192,300 shares, he still had 754,442 shares of Microsoft left over. Now the reason a Form 4 filing is super interesting is you can actually see what insiders are doing with their own money with the company's shares. Are they buying shares or are they selling shares? And that can influence your investment decision when you're looking at companies. So as you can see, companies file Form 4s pretty much all the time because any time there's a change in their ownership structure in terms of shares, they have to file a Form 4. So some of the more common transaction codes you'll see, uh, we already talked about S for sale and P for purchase. G is also a pretty common code. It means they gifted the shares, like the charity or something like that. Um, awards are also pretty common. A, the A transaction code. It's typically when companies, their executives receive, they receive stock as compensation for their services. So like stock options or restricted stock units. So anyways, that's just a high level overview of form 4s and where you can find them and what information could be found in these forms. 
and they can be a great way to supplement your research. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll be trying to post um, more regular videos now. And if you want to learn more about investing or dividend investing, be sure to check out my website, dividendgrowthinvestors.com, or check out some of my online courses, including financial statement analysis. I'll include links all in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time.